Hello. Top of the day to you guys out there. I say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Normally, I don't reply comments. But today, I'm going to reply comment Because this guy sounds very interesting. And I think he understands a little about economic and politics. I'm going to read what it says. But first, this is INI TV. We are global and social commentator. We collaborate with INI XPZ. Ours is to preach good governance. Ours is to preach good governance. Ours is to preach good governance. That is all we are interested in. Good governance. We believe that the politicians have failed us from 1999. And because they have failed us, and that is why Nigeria is in this state that she is now. And we believe that there is hope because we still have some good people around. And we are urging that these good people should go into politics. You know that the Edo State governorship election is coming up soon. And this challenge we are at for Olumide Osaibovo Akbata because he is the best out of all the candidates that have come out running for this post. He is the best in intellectually, educationally, uh, character, competence, uprightness, politeness, ability to blend with the culture. He speaks the language. He grew up in Benin and data. He went to University of Benin. He graduated as a lawyer. He has been the president of the Bar Association. He is the only president that is not a senior advocate of Nigeria, the son. Why? Normally, that position is reserved for senior advocate of Nigeria, conventionally. But a lot of senior advocates of Nigeria have confessed that this man is qualified to be a son. He is intelligent enough to be a son. And that is why a lot of them respect him. So I just pasted something here that if I will say a commenter, is not a friend, he wrote. I, is, I think it is Boboji2678. I read. He said, let's keep the discourse fat base and no need for fictional utterances disparaging anyone. Because I have said that a no to Aswe Igodaro is a no to Governor Godwin Obaseki. Because Godwin Obaseki has failed us. He has failed us. And I believe that no two people come together if they don't agree. I believe that birds of the same feather flocks together. I believe that like minds attract. So since Obaseki is the one bringing Aswe Igodaro, I believe that Aswe Igodaro will be the same class like his friends Obaseki. So that was why I said that we should reject Obaseki. Because I see Aswe Igodaro as another Obaseki. Eight years of nothing. So let's go on. He said, firstly, the generic plant in Abia was started 20 years ago without any financial input from Abia states. I agree with you. But my question to you is, when did Edo State start Gele Gele Seaports? When was it started? When was the plant drawn? We were still under Bender State when Gele Gele Seaport was drawn 20 years ago or more. Do you know that we have a, a standard Olympic Stadium in Edo Central that has been drawn? It is not a question of drawing it. It is a question of executing. And Alex Oti has executed. And we have to praise him because it was during this time that this generic plant started functioning. Oshomole built a standard hospital. Obaseki has put the hospital to a, a wanted use. He didn't seize the opportunity. That hospital would have been a world-class hospital. That is what we are saying, my brother. Obaseki has failed completely. So, you cannot say Alex Oti is an opportunist because it was during his time that the generic plant came to life. He seized the opportunity and make use of it. The difference between one man and another is opportunity. 
So let's go on. Secondly, yes, Edo gets about 10 billion, but monthly salary and pension takes about 5 billion and another 2.7 on debt servicing. You have agreed with me that Edo State gets 10 billion from the federal government as its own allocation. In fact, it is 10.2 billion. You said that 5 billion goes for salary. Agreed. And you also said by 2.7 goes for servicing the debt. I still agree. Let us even increase that 2.7 to 3 for servicing of debt. 3. So that's 8 billion out of the 10 that is coming from the federal. So it's remaining 2. Right? Fine. Let's go on. But OT and Obaseki are performing in their various states per available resources. And remember, Abia is the Abia is about the size of Edo South Senatorial Region. You know what I always say? He was talking here about OT and Obaseki, comparing OT and Obaseki. For him to compare OT and Obaseki is a disgrace on Obaseki. OT have only li have only been there for less than a year. Obaseki is in his eight years now. Then you are you, you still compare and you say both of them have tried. Is he, is it a let on Obaseki? It's like you. Maybe you are in your final year in the university. Then a year one is competing with you, and we are saying both of you tried. What does that what does that mean? It means you have failed completely. Obaseki has failed completely. If we can compare two of them, I would say both of them have tried. Somebody has stayed for less than a year. He has tried the way Obaseki has tried for eight years. Do you listen to yourself, brother? So let's go on. And you said Abia is about the size of Edosat. I want to want to, I also want to let you know that it's a new state. It's younger than Edo states. And in fact, it needs to be developed. It's still the capital has not really transformed like Bini City. And apart from that, the allocation it gets from the federal is smaller than what Edo State gets. So, with all this, Alex Oti was able to be able to do significant achievements within one year. Go and watch the video that the interview that Obaseki Grant to show after his first four years. Go back and watch that video interview by show after Obaseki first four years. What did Obaseki say? He said, I've done nothing. Show repeated again. What do you mean? Do you mean? You've not done anything. He said, yes, I have not done nothing. Four years, Obaseki confessed with his mouth that he didn't do anything. Four good years. And you know what? It is even the first four years that governors walk. Because after they have been re-elected, they now know that it's the last term. So uh, whether you whether he works now or he didn't work now, it, doesn't make, it makes no difference. That was why Oshomole. Oshomole worked for the first four years. The second part of Oshomole was to retouch what he has already done. That is how governors are. The performance comes within the first four years. If you cannot perform in the first four years, my brother, you cannot perform again. So Obaseki, for the first four years, agree by his own mouth that he has done nothing. So when you people are talking, I just keep laughing. So let's go on. Akpata and Igodaro are good candidates. No need to discredit any for sake of Obaseki. There's one thing I noticed, and I'm happy about it. I've spoken to PDP members, strong PDP members. I've spoken to APC members too. None of them can say one bad thing about Olumide or Saibovo Akbata. None of them. Everybody say he's a good man. Everybody say he has the capacity to be the governor. Everybody say he's competent. Everybody say they, they, they see him like a reflection of Peter Gregory Obi. Even the opponent, when the opponent has nothing bad to say about you, then you know that this man is good. Olumide Osagbovo Akpata is the best. And that is why me have come out to think that he is the best. See why I am beginning to think that I am right when I said, say no to Obaseki, say no to Aswen Igodaro. Listening to what happened yesterday, Aswen Igodaro is denying 
that he did not. He did not take part in plan where the Wonder Banks, even I am a victim of that Wonder Banks in Benin. I remember I was in year one then, my school fees. I put my school fees in one that was called Arise and Shine. Arise and Shine. They said in three months, I will have about 400 or 500 profit. I was happy. After a month, we discovered that it was fraud. My brother, my sister, that semester in school, I was drinking Gagarin in the morning, Gagarin in the afternoon, Gagarin in the evening. Because of people are pointing, accusing finger. I don't know if it is true, but people are pointing, accusing finger that Aswen Igodaro was one of those that operated those wonder banks those days. The plan where they arise and shine, many of them. And this is not the first time we are hearing this. Remember, there is a gentleman in US, he calls himself BFM. He was the first guy that blew a whistle that Obaseki was also involved in these wonder banks. Look at the logic that I'm trying to draw now. We were told before Abaseki came that he was involved in wonder banks. Today, we have been told that Aswe Igodaro was also involved in wonder banks. And these two people are friends. Aswe Igodaro agree that Obaseki is his party. And they have known for many years. Do you can you draw the similarity? That was why we say birds of the same feather flocks together. Two cannot work together except they are the same. Like mags follow each other. I don't know. Aswe Igodaro bring proof to show that you did not operate those wonder banks. It was during really that period that I learned how to use mango drink Gary in school. I would drink Gary in the morning, Gary in the afternoon, Gary in the evening. Because I put all the money that my parents gave me, the school fees, the allowance fees, I put all there. Only God knows how I survived that semester. And many people commit suicide because of these wonder bands. Let us be careful who we call in. Let us be careful so that we begin to know where Obaseki is coming from. Why is Obaseki? bringing somebody that was accused the same thing like he was accused then of operating these wonder banks plan where arise and shine and all the rest now let us come to my video those who have not watched my video before please go and watch my video what i said was obaseki could take at the end of the year the 10 billion and four that he gets from internal revenue i'll just paste another thing here this is when he said that this year he's going to push it to 70 billion that was his target let us assume he didn't reach 70 billion because before it was like 48 billion let's assume he pushed it to 60 60 the divide by 12 that's about 5 billion every month remember we said that two billion is left from the other calculation that we've done. Five plus two is that not seven? Seven billion free for you every month. Won't you do something meaningful at the end of the year? I even gave a suggestion: housing, build houses for people. It's not as if these houses are free. Low cost housing estates. Watch my past VVV video. It, it was not even up to. At the end of the year, for 10, those low-cost housing estates will have 100 units in 10 places. It was, it was 10 billion who solved that issue. That was what I said. 10 billion will solve that issue. And apart from that, I didn't make sure that Edo State gets 13% derivation form from oil. I pasted it here. 13% derivation form from oil, which is about 17.5% billion in six months last six months that's last year six months they got 17.5 it was only wicked as the governor that agree and thank Buari. remember he came out and said Buari, thank you all for paying us our 13 percent derivation form i did not calculate that to this 17.5 billion we didn't calculate that well and apart from that the state also get three percent 
provided by host community. Since these are all year producing states, they are about nine. They get theory percent. All year producing states get theory percent from the companies that is drilling this oil. Year. I want to call these states for you guys: Lagos, Delta, Rivers, Akwaibon, Bayasa, Edo, Ondo, Ogun, Imo, and Anabra. They also get three percent from all these companies. It's, it's like let us let me explain. Properly. It's like this company drilling oil year, pay three percent to the host or the providing community. This is what. We did not even calculate this. Then with all this money, Edo states look like a place where that have just survived a war situation. Then you guys have the guts to come and tell me that Obaseki is trying. That Obaseki is trying. No, for God's sake. He cannot follow us. He cannot follow us all. That is why this channel is, is, is out there to enlighten. We don't care who subscribe to us. Even if it is one person, we'll be able to show proof. We are happy. We don't care. We just want to show you proof. Watch out when Olumide Osagbovo Akpata comes in. Watch how he's going to disburse these resources, these finance that the state have. And at the end of the day, we all will be happy that yes, truly, we have a governor. Please, the campaign will soon start. We have looked at all the other contestants, and the conclusion is Olumide Osaibovo Akbata is the best. Why should we leave the best and go for the least? Why? A right thinking man, like I said before, no APC, no PDP, our friends here, none of them say bad about Olumide Osaibovo Akbata. Everybody talk good of him. But you know why these are party men? They cannot leave their party. That is the problem. That is one of the problems we have in Nigeria. Even if it's your brother and you know he's bad, and there's another guy that is better that can do the job well, you will say, eh, Make I give my brother now. Blood is thicker than water. That was what has dragged us to this situation that we are in now. So, my brother, my friend, Olumide Osaibovo, Takwata. Is the best candidate. He is the best man for the job. If you have a company and you want to employ a manager, won't you pick the best? Because you know fully well that the company will be in a good hand. And that is why we are urging you guys out there. Olumide Osaibovo Akbata is the best. He is the man of the people and he is the man for the people. This is Ini TV. We collaborate with Ini XBZ. If it's the first time you've seen this channel, if it's the first time you've seen this face, if it's the first time you're just trolling and you come across this channel, we'll ask you to please like and comment. And above all, subscribe. After you subscribe, just touch the notification bell button so that each time we'll make video, it comes directly to you. And for our returning subscribers, we'll say thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, we love you, but God love you most. And as it is the culture in this channel, we will catch you when we make the next video. Until then, we say chooks. Ciao. Adios. Au revoir. Hasta la vista. Bye bye. Remember, if you want the best, you have to go for the best. You have to make an effort to get the best. And that is why we are telling you, Olumide Osaibovo Akbata has presented himself. And we have assessed him. We will verify. And we know that he's the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.